Hey guys, welcome to another episode of New York Bassin, and today I'm back with the fourth edition, or fourth episode, of Bass Fishing Tips and Tricks with me, Brad Ableman. And I'm going to get started with what you're going to need for this, um, for this trick I'm going to show you. You're, all you're going to need is Reaction Innovation Sweet Beaver, well that, or any other trailer that you like for a jig. One of my favorites is this, Reaction Innovation Sweet Beaver. Um, your favorite jig, in this case, it's a killer custom jig. That's my favorite jig. And then a toothpick. Last but not least, a pair of scissors to go along with all that. And now that I show you what you're going to need for this, now let me tell you what I'm going to be showing you today. I'm going to be showing you a very easy way to fasten your trailer on your jig without lose it, without the trailer being really easy, like with it, it being really easy for the trailer to fly off anything like that and it'll save you a little bit of money um, so you don't have to use as many trailers so guys here I'm gonna start with this I have my my jig trailer now, I'm gonna cut um, a lot of people like to cut more than half but I'm just gonna cut half of it off like right in the middle right off bye bye and then I'm going to take my jig there's your jig there guys going to thread the bait onto the jig I don't now since it's trimmed you're not throwing it all the way onto your hook keeper just right at the end actually so what I'm saying is when you have a shorter bait that you want to hang out more and you need it to be you need to have your own trailer keeper this is what I'm going to show you this is, how I'm, this is what I'm showing you how to keep it like that how to make your own trailer keeper if your bait doesn't quite reach the trailer keeper so then, this is when your toothpick comes into play. So now, you're going to take your toothpick. Is, you're going to find the top half of the bait. You stick it right through the top half of the bait. Over top of that hook, guys. That's extremely important. You want this to be going over top of the hook. The toothpick. You want to make it go all the way through like that. You, get the, you see the two ends of the toothpick sticking out? You're going to take your... Your scissors, you're just gonna go over toothpick, cut that side off, cut that side off, and bam. Now when a fish th tries to throw that jig or that trailer is gonna come off, that toothpick is gonna helps helps the bait stay on the hook because the toothpick kind of holds the bait on the hook. So it's like a trailer keeper. Look, this isn't gonna pull off. It's just going to stay in place. It's not going to pull up as easy. See, look, it stops once it gets about there when you're pulling it up. And you can still slide the bait and move it in any direction that you want. So, guys, all you're going to need is a pair of scissors, a jig, your favorite trailer, and a toothpick. And you're going to be able to make your own trailer keeper on your jig. Thanks for watching, guys. Comment, like, rate, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more episodes.